And today I'm going to show you how you can produce a sales forecast using just Excel trend lines and charts. Hi, I'm John and this is Up For Excel. We're going to generate the absolute numbers that go with that line. So all that work's actually going to be done on the Excel spreadsheet. But in order to do that, we need to know um, the form of that line. And to do that, we simply click tick this box that says display equation on chart. This equation, I'm just going to again expand this box because what we need to do is not only do we need to make the equation larger because we want to see the numbers, but we also need to increase the number of decimal places on it. So we collect on the uh, on the box with the equation in it. We go to here and we can format the number. So what we want to do is on the number and we want to push the crank the decimal places up to some kind of ridiculous value. So let's try 10. Yeah, I think we can probably go more than that. Let's try 15. Right, we're getting a lot of zeros at the end now, so we really don't need to go any further than that, I wouldn't have thought, and that's going to be our equation. And we're effectively going to use this equation in Excel. So I copy and paste it from here. So I'm just using Control C there, and I'm going to just put it down here for the moment as the equation there, and then I'm going to move that chart slightly out of the way because we don't really need that right now. So I'm going to have to introduce a new uh, column here, which I'm going to call the forecast. Fairly straightforward. And, and I actually need as well an index, which you'll see at the moment, because in this equation, the letter X that you can see just here, if I highlight it, that is not a multiplication, that is a letter X and it refers to the position on the x-axis. So we need to create that a position number. So th this index column is just going to literally be one, and then it's just going to increment by one all the way through. Uh, I'll center that. So our forecast, we're now going to use part of this equation, and this will be our x value. So to make this easier, I'm going to effectively put this equation into several different columns. So you can see we have our, our multiple and our power. And our multiple is this value here, which we can take to there. We don't need all those zeros on it. And we'll put that as our multiple. Our power is the next value, which is that one and we'll put that there. So our equation in the formula box now, in the forecast box, sorry, is <laughs> going to equal our multiple times by our index. So that is our 735865 times our x to the power of, which is the symbol there, and our power number. Okay. And I'm just going to give this forecast column the same formatting as my sales column for now. Right, now if we, we can just copy these all the way down like that. And now, and I can copy that all the way down and we now get a forecast for column. And we're not actually interested in the forecast back here really, but what I'm now going to do is add that onto the chart to make sure that we've got the right number. So I'm going to select some more data. I'm going to add this series, which is going to be the forecast series. And it's, I'm going to put it on like that. Okay it. Okay. And you can see that that is perfectly matching the trend line. So we've definitely got the equation correct. 